Using a Hamilton's utility scraper, ideal scrapers for removing flaky paint from a boundary wall. Look at that, just coming off in sheets. And we seem to be doing this every mm, six to nine months, the paint on the wall seems to bubble. And I've done an investigation, other than it being a boundary wall, which are maintenance wall, you've got to maintain because they don't have a damn course. I'm scraping all the paint off, and this time I'm going to apply a cementitious slurry, a waterproofing cementitious slurry, to give us a better chance of success and paint not uh, peeling away like it is now. So I'm getting off all that looseness first, using Hamilton's utility scraper. With scraping came a lot more of even plasterwork exposed to brick. So we're going to want to repair these brick areas before we apply our cementitious slurry. So for plaster work, we're going to use some keying agents to mix in with our plasters. So they key to the wall nicely. This is for all the deep repairs. And you really got to make sure you use the right cement and plaster sand ratio. And important, add a bonding agent so that this plaster is going to key nicely to the wall. But you got to mix it to a lump free consistency. Bernie B, the plasterer, definitely not. This is quite a skilled thing. It looks simple, but it's not. But I'm giving it a bash. I think I'm going to call in a professional to assist me with the plaster work. And here we have Grace. Grace is quite skilled at this. You won't believe it, she was a cashier before and then she eventually decided to go into contracting with her husband and she's pretty skilled. Okay, all the plaster work done. We are now going to apply our waterproof cementitious slurry. Okay, we're using Hamilton Specialist waterproofing brush to apply this uh, waterproof uh, slurry. We call it, the additive is, uh, you can call it a cement modifier. It's a synthetic latex additive for cement and mortar mixtures. And we mix it equally. So one part, like a liter of the latex, and one part cement, a liter basically of the cement. And we blend them together and stir thoroughly. Okay, so we're mixing the synthetic latex additive with our cement equally. And remember, like I said, you got to mix it. I'm adding slowly and then mixing, adding more until I've got a kind of a PVA consistency. And then we will be ready to apply. Okay, so before applying our waterproof slurry, we just need to dampen the wall with clean water. Okay, so using Hamilton Specialist Waterproofing 120ml brush, I'm going to be applying this waterproof slurry to the dampened areas and this brush has a high volume of bristle so it's ideal for the application of waterproofing coatings and paints onto large surface areas you can see i'm stippling in certain areas because i want to get it into all the pitted holes any cracks or deep areas and i'm painting the first coat from left to right two hours later we we'll apply our second coat but in a downward motion and then we just need this product to cure and which is about three to five days before we primer it. Okay, so there we go with our second coat after two hours. We're going to leave it, the system, pretty much for a week to cure before I said prime it with plaster primer and then paint it with our decorative paints. Okay, so we've let our waterproof slurry cure for a week and now I'm priming it with water-based plaster primer and I'm using Hamilton's Utility Wool Pro Roller. Although I'm using water-based, it is solvent resistant and it's got a nice long pile. It's ideal for using water-based paints on semi-rough surfaces. Okay, we are now eventually ready to paint our top coat, a nice washable sheen using the Utility Wool Pro Roller. And I've got my assistant here, Grace, helping me get this wall painted. So between me with the waterproofing brush and Grace loving the Utility Wool Pro Roller, we got the perfect finish.